Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday, it's May the 27th, and this will be our chart lesson for today. It really, man, it was brutal today. It felt like um, felt like a holiday session, to be honest with you. We had a clear up channel here. We came up a little short of the upper portion of it here. Had a little correction. There's a almost a exact mirrored two-legged just a couple of legs down then another couple of legs down here uh, and then we've been coming back for the retest ever since and we're real close but it has just been brutally slow it's like uh, watching paint dry so it hadn't been a very fun day um, I felt like that uh, I ran a marathon today trading and uh, hardly you know just not enough movement you know if you caught some of these early moves you were okay, but past that, uh, just not much, not much going on. So, but let's, it's going to be pretty quick. We'll talk about the trades. We've really gotten hung. It's really been in a range almost since the open. Uh, let me just put the crosshairs on here. The open was right in here. Uh, so we've been in this range, uh, really range since the open was 04, 1904 to 19, so a five-point range, but it took literally from 930 to 1230, three hours just to move down, and then from 1230 to 230, so about two hours to go up, uh, but the bias is up, We're still trending upwards. Uh, what you got to understand is this is right at that 1900 century mark and uh, I'd be shocked if we don't test it on both sides a few times before we go higher or whatever we're going to do or reverse or whatever but there's just not a lot of buying coming in at these prices it doesn't seem like it continues to work higher but uh, it's not coming in real quickly so but let's talk about the trades that I saw and this one's not going to take very long, and we'll wrap it up. So, um, the first trade I saw was, was right at the seven o'clock hour. I went back and forth whether or not to make this one green, but we had a nice move up. There's a two-legged correction right to the EMA. It broke lower first, went out the top side. Um, you you probably want to use a limit order here, but you could have used a stop there. You know, once it broke above this bar. You really could have had a stop, but better off probably to drop a limit order in there. And it came back here, and you could have gotten filled all the way back to those lows. So a tick or so in, maybe two ticks inside this bar. Uh, to be honest with you, when it came back here, I doubt I would have let it feel this. I would have waited on a second entry here, uh, which it did come, and it was a, this was a little better uh, move here. This one didn't take nearly as long. This just kind of got hung up here. So you might have even gotten shaken out of that one, but it's a legitimate two-legged pull back with a nice reversal bar. It just took a little while to get moving, and I originally had this a little bit higher, and that's probably more like it right there. Um, and this one's maybe just a tad higher. And this one may be just a tad lower, like so. But anyway, I, I believe there's a legitimate channel there with the midline, and we got the break here, and we're working on a retest now. And it's been brutally slow getting there, but uh, but anyway, then you get a second entry long off the low. It's another higher low, and chance to go long right there. Again, you might have used a limit order here. Um, you could have even with a stop, you still got filled on that. Then it gets two legs back again, and now you got a for sure trend line working up through here, and you're gonna get another one here, uh, another chance. And there's a little bit of a trap here. We want a tick lower here than that one. And then it bounced. And so I like that one to the long side. And you can see it trapped people. It moved up really quickly. And then you get another second entry hit long right here, right off that same trend line. Again, uh, the second entry didn't trigger till it broke above here. Uh, but there's a little trap here that tried to go lower twice. So when this broke higher, you might have considered going long there on a limit order. Uh, if not, when it broke higher here, you could have entered on the stop. So there's really two different ways to enter. Entering later here was a little more suspect to me because it, all these matching highs up here, you know there's lots of resistance, and you can see that that ended up being support, trying to be support, and then resistance again before we broke higher. So I just think it was 
a little bit tough to enter this next one, so that's why I didn't mark it. Um, I, I think it's it took on off pretty quickly, but we're still in this range. You're looking for prices to come back up here. Definitely to probably push to a new high here once you started moving higher. Uh, and then you got another second entry here, but notice how we couldn't get back up there. We got one tick higher and then sold off real quick. And this is not a very good bar here. Uh, I just think it's way too risky to be going long right there uh, when we're kind of in this little, and this is just a little trading range. So, and I don't think you, you can't go short yet because you're looking for it to come down here and it could have bounced here. Uh, instead, it kind of gets on through and it tries to bounce and there's just nothing happening. And then you get a, a second entry long right here, but you don't want to go long right there. Now you've got this little channel working down. And so you can't go long right there. Uh, I think it's too risky because there's a good chance you're going to test this double bottom. That's exactly what happened. An aggressive trader might have gone long right there. Mm, I don't like it. And well, actually, let's talk about this one first. But you got a trap here, and I don't even like going short here because it's so close to these lows. But you're figuring that you know prices are probably going to come down here. But you got that trap. So when this broke lower, you might have considered you can't wait till this one and go short here because you're too close to the low. So you had to go short below that one if you took it. And uh, there was a clue that it was going to come back there uh, first, just the first break of this little channel, and you know you're going to probably swing, but a new low. Might have only been right there, and it might have bounced, and it looked like it was going to bounce before it dropped on down. Uh, but the clue was that gap right there. Prices almost always come back and fill that gap. And if it's going to come back that much, it's probably going to go ahead and make a new low. And it, So there is a trap there. I don't really like it. I made it green. I think it's real aggressive. But it's there all the same. And then we bounce right off that double bottom. We get that one tick lower, and it moved pretty quickly to there. And then it just was brutally slow again. And notice this. You get a two legs back and test that again. Failed second entry short that reverses. You can go <laughs> long. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, you can go long right there above that. You might use a limit order, um, and it would have gotten filled. And, again, it's brutally slow, but it it's following all the rules and now you kind of got this channel working up and uh, I like this one because you got a low here this is like a new low first entry short pull back second entry short you reverse look at it close on its high um, you may not want to go long with us this close to all those matching highs across there so you might have waited to break higher and then enter with a limit order but you really could have used a stop there because we've tried, we've got that trap, and that's a nice bullish bar, and it's coming right off that that trend line. That kind of confirms it, and it would have been. It took it a minute to push on up there, but that turned out to be a decent trade. And then I can't stand it anymore. It's almost three o'clock, so um, I decided to go ahead and do the uh, chart lesson and get this thing wrapped up. And maybe it'll pick up tomorrow. But that's the way the market does. It, it's it's probably a little uh, weekend hangover going on here. I know I got uh, started a little later than what I normally do, just a few minutes after 7 when I came in the door, and I'm usually ready to trade by 7. So um, so even I was getting started a little bit late, but I'm assuming that's what uh, uh, is probably going on, just a little bit of the leftover from the holidays. And we are at these historic highs, so you can't overlook that fact either, and that really will affect the market as well so and i'm just curious if we're if this is going to be a we've got the new high now we've got the break here we could continue on higher but i'm guessing we'll get back in this range or something here who knows uh, wouldn't surprise me if we don't go on higher but we do have a break from what i can see and a couple of legs up to a new high now so we'll see what happens but uh, it's almost three o'clock it's a quarter till so trading this late is suspect anyway but um that's really about it not much else you can say i hope everybody had a great memorial day weekend i know i enjoyed mine and uh we were late coming back from uh, we went out of town and a little late coming back getting back last night so i was a little bit tired and uh got a little bit late start going today school's out here now i'm sure it is most everywhere now so my schedule may change a little bit as we get into the summer but um uh, but I wanted to put a full day in today, and I tried. I just couldn't. There just wasn't enough movement here to, to do a whole lot. So 
if you didn't have, I mean, if you if you lost on every trade, that's one thing. But if you didn't make a lot of money today, that's understandable because there's not a lot of really good. I mean, you know, there was a couple of trades here early, and then they're really since really since nine o'clock. I see two trades I like, and that's it. Uh, so it's hard to make money when there's not much movement. So uh, I generally like range days like this, but I don't wait like waiting three hours for it to get up here, and uh, or three hours for it to get down here. And you know, it's especially when we're really following um, channel rules here. Even though this is rangy looking, I think it's just because it's low volume and uh, not much happening. So. Uh, really not much else you can say about today, so I'm going to wrap it up, call it a day, and maybe we'll get some better movement tomorrow, but um, this happens sometimes, and especially around holidays and uh, market, new market highs, all-time highs and things, so it's, it's, but you can see the bias continues to be up, and if you back out, we just keep going. I notice I still got my stuff on the chart from Friday, so, but you notice we just keep going just keep going higher here, higher and higher. So just be, don't argue with the market. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. You know, I keep hearing the market's overdone. We're overdue for a crash. Yeah, we probably are, are overdue for a correction. And uh, But you can't ever guess when it's coming. So follow the rules. Draw your channels, your trend lines, and uh, just go with what you see. Don't be going with what the experts are telling you might happen. Because they could be wrong for a long time. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.